You've decided to build. That means plans, contractors, subcontractors, materials, surveyors, permits, financing, utilities, endless trips to the building supply stores, not to mention windows, flooring, paint, cabinets, countertops, doors, light fixtures. It can be overwhelming. But getting electricity doesn't have to be complicated. Golden Valley Electric Association has prepared this video to walk you through the process. Follow these steps and you'll soon be on the grid with one less thing to worry about. If you live in the Fairbanks North Star Borough, the first thing you'll need is a borough assigned address. GVEA can't begin the process without it. You can obtain this information by calling the Borough Project and Planning Office or visit their office in Fairbanks. Once you have your address, come by our new Construction Services Office in Fairbanks, Delta or Nenana to complete a new service order and application. This application allows us to set up your account and tells us about your service needs and requirements. If one of our field representatives is in the office, He'll invite you in for a preliminary interview to discuss your service needs and answer any questions you may have. We may ask you to draw a site plan or sketch of the property, showing the location of buildings, wells, septic fields, driveways, and other information that might be helpful in routing power to your site. You and your field rep will review our system diagram map. This is how we figure out the best route from our grid to your building. You and your rep will discuss the different options that may be available to you. The rep will also advise you of any fees that must be paid up front in order to process your application. You won't leave the preliminary interview empty-handed. If you're building a home, you'll receive a copy of GVEA's Construction Guide for Residential Service. You can save yourself lots of money and time if you review this guide before you build. You'll also go home with a meter pole stake. Drive the stake into the ground in the exact spot you intend to place your service entrance. After we've received all required information, the field rep will visit your site within five days for a preliminary inspection. The field rep will check placement of your meter stake, distance from the nearest power source, and any terrain or clearance problems. In short, your rep wants to make sure the plan you worked out in your preliminary interview will actually work in the real world. Once the preliminary inspection has been completed, you'll receive a very important letter. It will detail everything that's required to get you power. The map will show exactly what land needs to be cleared for your service line. The letter will also specify any additional fees that might be applicable. If we need to obtain any easements before you can be served by GVEA, a right-of-way agent will contact you. Now it's time to clear a four-foot wide strip of all trees, branches, shrubs, and debris between the GVEA pole and your service entrance. This clearing allows our linemen to string your service line without interference. As the years go by, it's important to keep this swath cleared to protect yourself from outages caused by trees bending or falling into your service line. You also need to install service entrance equipment. You and your field rep will decide ahead of time if it's best to attach this to a pole or to the side of your home. Once the service entrance equipment has been installed and clearing is complete, you must call GVEA for an inspection. In a few days, your field rep will come to the site to make sure your service entrance equipment meets safety requirements. You don't have to be present for this inspection. The field rep will leave a card on your service entrance equipment to indicate if you've passed the inspection or if further changes are needed. If you passed inspection, all required fees have been paid and all construction completed, you can expect to be connected within one to three business days. If changes are needed, Call GVEA's new construction office once the changes are made to have your service re-inspected. Please note that the first service entrance inspection is free 
but GVEA will charge $20 for each additional inspection. When the crew arrives to connect your service, it's a simple matter of extending a line from the transformer to your service entrance, and you're on the grid. Oh, there's one more thing. Your first bill. You'll see a one-time $10 record fee and possibly a deposit based upon your credit rating. Congratulations! You've joined with more than 42,000 residences and businesses that make up Golden Valley Electric Association.